Hello and welcome back to this another question of this uh, uh, wonderful series here. So I'm just getting aside. This question is based on time, speed and distance. So please solve this question and I will be counting five on the reverse scale. And uh, in that duration, you are supposed to take a screenshot or pause your video, whatever you are comfortable with. But solve this question on your own. Fine. And your time starts now. It's five, four, three, two, one and go. I'm here back. Thank you. So uh, let's read it once again. It says Akash, Aman, Ajay start a race from the same point. Okay, they are starting from the same point in the same direction. Bahut badiya, at the speeds of 30 km per hour, 40 km per hour and x km per hour. Okay, this x is unknown. Certainly we need to find the value of this x. Uh, yes, question is same. Find the value of x. So respectively, fine. Now Aman starts the race 3 hours after Akash. So their starting times are different. The starting point is same, same point, and their direction of motion is also same, but their starting timings are different. Right? Fine. So Aman starts the race three hours after Akash, and Ajay starts the race four hours after Akash. That means Akash is taking the longest amount of time, isn't it? Okay. So again, in time speed distance, we have discussed it many times. It is always best to draw the situation. So let's draw it. Uh, for all three persons, I'm drawing it separately. Let's see what happens. So we know that they are starting from same point and uh, they are moving in the same direction with different speeds, of course, and uh, the different starting timings. And it's, it's mentions here, if Aman, Ajay overtake Akash at the same time, okay, fine. So Aman, Ajay overtake Akash, same time ka matlab kya hua? So Akash has started already from same point. Akash has started uh, some, uh, from some point uh, in some, some direction and Akash has reached somewhere and both Aman and Ajay who have started afterwards, right? Aman ne baad mein start kiya tha, Ajay ne sabse baad mein start kiya tha, right? Ajay started sabse late, Ajay started the, uh, uh, after 4 hours Akash started, right? So, but both of them started from the same point in same direction but both of them overtake Akash at the same time. They overtake Akash at the same time. It means at the same time when Akash has reached certain point, so both of they also have reached same point. That means they have traveled equal distance, right? They have traveled equal distance. They are traveling with their constant speeds, but the time taken is different, right? That is the only information given. So let me write. I don't know the distance which they have traveled, but uh, what we know exactly is their speeds. So speeds are 30, 40 and x respectively, respectively for Akash, Aman, Ajay. Akash, Aman, Ajay. So let me write here. So Akash has traveled with a speed of 30 km per hour. Ajay has traveled with a speed of 40 km per hour. And this last person, Ajay, has traveled with a speed of x km per hour, which we need to figure out. And what else we know? We know the starting times, the difference between starting time. So Aman starts three hours after Akash. So and Ajay starts the race four hours after Akash. Ajay starts the race four hours after Akash. So if I take uh, Ajay has taken T hours to travel this much distance. So Akash started four hours earlier, right? So Akash has taken four extra hours than Ajay. So T plus four hours is the time taken by Akash. And because Aman started 3 hours after Akash, so he has taken 3 hours less than Akash, that means it is T plus 1 hours. Fine. So that is the entire information given. So what is the common part in uh, this given information? See, we have seen the entire information. So each of the, these 3 persons started at different timings, uh, but they have traveled the equal distance, right? So that is a constant part here. The distance is same, isn't it? The distance is same. Now how to solve it? There can be various ways. You can make use of equation. All of you know that distance is nothing but speed into time, right? Distance is speed into time. So we can make simple equations. So speed into time is equal to speed into time. You can easily calculate the value of t and then that the distance and then finally the value of x, right? That's one of the ways. Uh, you can also make an equation like that, that uh, d by t is equal to s or d by s equals to t. So d by uh, 30 and d by 40, so their difference would come out to be 3. That's also, also again, you can calculate the distance and then finally the value of x. Fine. So I'm giving you the second way. And the third way could be you can use proportionality. You can use proportionality uh, by because when distance is constant, if distance is constant, in that case, you know that 
speed and time are inversely proportional right let's discuss all the three methods i'm writing all the three methods i'm i'm feeling joyful for that i'm feeling joyful for that i hope you will also like that so let me first tell you the equation methods the first equation i told you simple speed into time will remain constant right so i'm equating for these two first persons akash and aman so this uh, 30 into t plus 4 is equal to 40 into t plus 1 fine remember our objective is to find the value of x so this is the first method i'm just writing speed into time is equal to speed into time you know so let's simplify this this is 30 t no gimmicks here right no gimmicks simple equation solving 30 t plus 120 comes out to be equal to 40 t plus 40 fine that makes it 10 t equals to 120 minus 40 that is 80 which makes it t is equal to 8 now substituting the value back here we will get the total distance and that's it we'll be getting the value let me put the value here i'm putting the value of t here so it comes out to be 8 plus 1 9 9 into 40 that comes out to be 360 right 8 plus 1 is 9 t is 8 8 plus 1 9 so 9 into 40 is 360 now this 360 kilometer distance has been traveled by ajay in t hours which is 8 so this x is nothing but this distance this distance by uh, time which is t hours and distance is 360 kilometer this was distance basically so this is 360 divided by uh, this 8. If you simplify this, so 8 fours are 32, 4 is remaining, 8 fives are 45. That's it. So 45 kilometer per hour. First method, done. Fine. Let's check out another one. Okay. Uh, if I go with the, the equation d by distance by speed, that would be time. Hey, no? So distance by speed is equal to time. So time for Akash is t plus 4. And time taken by... Uh, Aman is t plus 1. So, time taken by Akash would be distance by speed that is d by 30. So, you could have made an equation like this. So, d by 30 minus d by 40. And this is equal to how much? This is 3, right? So, that's it. So, this 3 is equal to d by 30 minus d by 40. And we can simplify this to find the value of d. So, let's take LCM. I think uh, multiplying by uh, LCM of 13, 40, that is 120 would be best here. So just multiply by 120 throughout. So what do we get? Let's see. So this is 360, which is equal to 4D minus 3D, which is D. The same thing we got here as well. The D comes out to be 360. And final solution is same part. So this X is nothing but uh, this distance comes out to be D. So first we can calculate the timing also now, right? Timing also we can calculate. So if D is 360, D is 360 kilometer. So 360 kilometer in 30 hours uh, with a speed of 30 kilometer per hour. That gives me the uh, time taken for this person. Uh, 360 by 30, that is 12 hours. This is 12 hours. And here 360 by 40, that would be 9 hours. Uh, yes, 9 hours. A gap of 3 hours we can see from here. So now this time should be 8 hours because it is 1 hour less than that. So 8 hours me mujhe distance complete karna hai. So finally same thing. So 360 by 8, that gives you 45. 360 by 8 that gives you 45 kilometer per hour fine that is the second method okay let's move to the proportionality now how we can make use of proportionality many students wonder in that right many students gets confused in that let's do it quickly see we know that distance is constant distance same distance has been traveled by the three persons but the speed and timings are different and speed and timings are the inverse ratio so whatever is the ratio of speeds the ratio of time taken would be inverse of that or vice versa fine so for the first two persons we know that speed ratio is 3 by 4 so their corresponding time taken ratio what would it would be that ratio would be 4 by 3 isn't it so let me write here so t plus 4 divided by t plus 1 is the reverse of the uh, ratio of speeds that is it is 4 by 3 Check, na? Now, how to solve this? It is very simple. Sometimes people cross multiply and solve, but that's not required. Let's do it faster. So the difference between numerator and denominator is 3. So we need to make this difference between numerator and denominator also 3. It is 1 right now, right? So how to make it 3? Just multiply by 3. Just multiply by 3. So it comes out to be equal to 12 by 9. Now you can direct uh, directly equate. By the way, we have written these values already. You can see that, right? 12 and 9. So from here, directly we get the value. The t plus 4 is 12, which means t is 8. So we got all these three values. So we got all these three values here. So it comes out to be, uh, t comes out to be 8. So the moment t comes out to be 8, so these values are t plus 4 is 12. We have written t plus 1 is 9. So 12, 9 and this comes out to be 8. So the moment we get these two values as 9 and 8, so we can compare the ratio of the speeds now. So whatever is the ratio of their speeds, that would be, that would be 
inverse of the ratio of time taken, right? So that would be equal to 8 by 9. That's it. 8 fives are 40 and x comes out to be 9 times 5. That is 45 kilometer per hour. That's it. Fine. Thank you very much.